This is a temperature scanner I built. I was having some problems with uh, overheating on my Duramax, so I built this uh, six temperature probe scanner. <coughs> you can see it's updating about every second. Um, I actually have the name of where I was going to put the sensors. There was an ambient temperature intake. Basically I just put them all around the truck and under the hood and got to uh, some good data out of this. This over here is actually a timer because I wanted to uh, kind of keep track of how long the program was running. So you can just reset power and the timer restarts. So temperature 6 is actually 46. Here I'm going to grab a random probe and warm it up. That's obviously the top one. These are just little uh, thermistors. They're like 50 cents each. The screen is one of these Nokia LCD screens in a Radio Shack project box. I happen to have a connector that I put on it so it's easy to disconnect. And uh, I actually scaled the uh, transistors out here with resistors. It's a little bit ugly, but the cool thing is, these are just raw analogs, so you can repurpose this and plug whatever you want in uh, to these analogs. It doesn't have to be temperature sensors. In the back of the box is very simple power switch, battery, uh, Arduino, and LCD screen, and our analog inputs coming in. The LCD screen is a PDC um, 8544, uh, and, and that's the Philips um, chip that drives the little uh, display. Um, I got one from IT Studio that already had a header pins soldered on, or you can get the same exact one from SparkFun. It doesn't have the pins. The screen was commonly used in Nokia phones, the 3310 and 5510, so if you're searching for code for these screens, you'll oft often find it under those those numbers, not the PDC number. They only run about $8 to $10. The Arduino Pro Mini, the 3 volt version, just so you get an idea of size. So the reason I went with this is because it's a 3 volt version. This LCD screen is 3 volts, and if you want to use a regular Domilinove to run it, you have to step it down voltages, control voltages from 5 volts to 3 volts, either using uh, resistors or a... I went ahead and soldered header pins on here, so I can use my FTDI uh, programming cable. I'm just coming off of pins 3 through 7, the discrete pins, coming over here to these inputs on the uh, those five lines going into the LCD screen. These two are power, and there's one if I wanted the LCD backlight. So in my air box, I put my sensor right here to get the intake temperature, called grill temperature. So I'm checking the temperature of the air coming in here. My hood temp is getting the temperature of the air coming right out of the fan here. Then I have one for after cooler temp, and this is strapped down, touching the after cooler pipe. Not very scientific. And for my ambient air temp, I just brought it back here. My ambient temp says 69. The 
this one says 77. So my temperatures may be 10 degrees low, but they're uh, gonna help give me a good idea anyway. All right, we're fixing to go on a trip here with the old fifth wheel. The gross weight of this thing is 10.5 unloaded. So it's at least 11 uh, with water, 11 or maybe more. Okay, so we're gonna go up, we're gonna get up to speed here and we're going up, oh, probably about a 2% grade that maybe goes up to 4%, I guess, for comparing it to the other hill, I really don't know. It's hard it's, to... It's not a big hill. No, it's nothing too amazing. But I just want to go the speed limit, so... You can see my EGT is pretty crazy for just holding it at 50. Pretty gutsy pulling out to pass. <laughs> Try to hold it on 50. See there, my EGT finally got up to where it's angry at me. And I'm still doing 50. And I think it's in fourth gear, too. Ah. My engine tip's at 230 already. Look at that. Look at my engine tip. It just went whoosh. That was fast. And then it stops. I don't know if that's when the, the second uh, the second uh, that opens up. Looking online, they're both supposed to open up somewhere around two ten within a few degrees of each other. That's probably good enough for now. So we're coming up to a, it's an 8% grade, it's probably what, about a mile? Yeah, a mile and a half, to maybe. To the top. It says 8% grade on the top. Okay. So everything's, my tranny's at 200, engine's at 210. Uh, it's hard to see. You know where everything's at with my real life. Figure this out later. Uh, closer is better. Is that, there it is. <laughs> EGT alarm. Well, I'm doing 35. Um, 1360. I would 70. like to actually be able to go up the hill. Good God. 1380. So my EGT's out of the world. What do we got down here? My engine temp. My fan just came on. My engine temp is at uh, 240. Let me shut this thing up here. 240 and climbing steadily. Um, my transmission's still at 200, no problem. My engine's at 230. Kind of just holding there. That's all she'll do. What are we doing? 50? Yeah. But the thing is, this will do this to you on the interstate when there's like a 2% grade. The engine tip will still start climbing up like that. Are you going to go down the other side and then come back up? I don't know. Should be. Oh, might as well. It's 